Hello there and welcome to the June 2019 paper. Here we're looking at question 15. Question 15 is given that n exists in the natural numbers, prove that n cubed plus 2 is not divisible by 8. So let's get started here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split n into odd numbers and even numbers and show that for both cases it's definitely not going to be divisible by 8. And as long as and because n can be split always into odd or an even number, it will then work for all cases. So Let's get started. If n is odd, then you can write n as 2a plus 1, where a exists in the natural numbers as well. So, therefore, n cubed plus 2 is going to equal 2a plus 1 cubed plus 2. So let's now work this out. So we're going to expand the brackets. 2a plus 1 times 2a plus 1 times 2a plus 1 plus 2. Let's expand the brackets of the first two. 4a squared plus 4a plus 1. And then 2a plus 1 plus 2. Uh, so therefore, when we expand it fully, it's going to give us um, 8a cubed plus 4a squared plus 8a squared plus 4a um, and then plus 2a and then plus 1 and then plus 2 on the end. Now, how am I going to be able to show this is not divisible by 8? Well, one more step to simplify. 8a cubed plus 12a squared plus 6a plus 3. Now, it's not looking simple to prove this is not divisible by 8 because I can't easily factorise out an 8. But what I could do is factorise out a 2. Now, let me show you why it might be helpful to factorise out a 2. 4a cubed plus 6a squared plus 3a, and then we might want to put plus 1 in here, and then plus 1, because that would expand to plus 2, plus the extra 1, so that would make it 3 in total. So this line here is equivalent to this line here. But what I've clearly shown here is that this is an odd number, because it's 2 times something plus 1, and an odd number can never be divisible by 8. And, and an odd number... is not divisible by 8. Because if a number is not divisible by 2, then it's not divisible by 8. If you think of any number that's divisible by 8, it must be divisible by 2 as well. Um, so there we are. And an odd number is not divisible by 8. So therefore, when n is odd, it's not divisible by 8. Um, let's now do if n is even. So if n is even, then it can be represented as 2a. So we might have to do a different approach here. So we'll have to do um, 2a cubed plus 2. Um, so therefore, when we expand this, we're going to get 8a cubed plus 2. Now, this is definitely going to be an even number, so we can't say and use the same excuse as the one before, but what we can say in the n equals even case is that, therefore, um, 8a cubed plus 2 will always, will always have a remainder 2. We'll always have a remainder 2 when divided by 8. So therefore it's not divisible by 8. Okay, so there we are. So then, therefore, uh, we need to just wrap all of this up into one uh, concluding sentence. As... Our theorem uh, 
um, is true for odd and even values of n, it must work for all values of n. It must be true for all values of n. Because all values of n can be split into odd or even numbers. And there we are, that is the answer to this question here then. So that's four marks, 15 uh, for question 15 there. Quite a difficult question, that one. Uh, quite difficult to, to work out this little bit here, a little bit tricky because you can't factorise out an 8 nicely. But what you've got to remember is that if something's going to be divisible by 8, it must be divisible by 2, and this expression obviously isn't. And this expression here is a bit more straightforward. 8a cubed plus 2 will always have a remainder of 2 when divided by 8, so therefore it's not divisible by 8. Make sure you include your little concluding sentence just to wrap everything up together after you split it into your odds and evens. And there we are, that's the answer to question 15. Let's now move on to the final question of the paper, question 16.